What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. With the recent emergence of Zeke's Herald in the LCS, and it being purchased by I Will Dominate in Game 5 of Team Liquid Series vs Team Impulse, I think Zeke's Herald has been quite underrated for a really long time. Let's get started. Zeke's is a relatively cheap item at 2450 gold and has a nice build path consisting of lots of cheap parts and building from Kindle Gem is great too, and so it makes it easy to slowly build up the parts to the item over time, so it's got a good build path and is quite cheap overall. And by itself, Zeke's will give the holder 250 health, 20% CDR, 20 AD, and 10% lifesteal, which calculates to 2590 gold worth of stats. So without giving the ore to any teammates at all, the item is gold efficient. Add into the fact that the ore is worth 1270 gold per person, and with that ore on 4 people, if you are looking at the raw gold values alone, Zeke's becomes what is essentially the most gold efficient item in the entire game. Now, obviously not that many champions can benefit from the aura, but in a composition with an 80 carry mid, or in a comp with 3 or more 80 champions, this item can actually be quite powerful. The 20 AD is quite nice, but the real gem of the item is the lifesteal aura. Being able to itemize lifesteal for your team as a tank is actually insane, since lifesteal as a stat is inherently quite difficult to itemize, and 80 carries often sacrifice damage in their builds so that they can get a lifesteal item. And so having the extra lifesteal on top of that becomes really powerful. So as long as you have a couple of champions that can make use of the stats, Zeke's is a really strong buy. However, there are some problems with the item. AD casters don't actually use the lifesteal quite effectively, and the bonus AD is not actually that much, it's only 20. So the stats are not as powerful as the gold values might lead you to believe, especially since 10% lifesteal is totally useless if you don't actually have a strong amount of AD in your item build already to help it scale up. Lifesteal scales exponentially with how much damage your auto attacks do, and so you want to have two champions who do lots of damage with their autos, essentially 280 carries, like Corky and Lucian for example. And this double 80 carry comp wasn't really popular until the tank meta came to fruition, but now that we are seeing that, loads of 80 carries are being played mid, and Zeke's is becoming a strong option in these types of team composition. And so although the stats are most definitely not as useful as they are on paper, and the 20% CDR actually kind of sucks since a lot of tank and support builds already have quite a bit of CDR in them already, if you have a comp where you have at least least two champions where they can make use of the aura, then this item actually becomes super powerful, and if you have three or more champions who can really benefit from the aura, it's actually probably a must buy for your team and should definitely be picked up. Anyways, my name is Jeremy and that's it for my video on Zeke's Herald. Hey guys, it's me Jeremy. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit that like button so I can tell, and if you're interested, definitely check me out on all the socials, of which you can see over there. And if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future, as well as you can check out some of my other videos up here and over there. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.